Thanks, Mumsy. Right, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to Saturday. I'm in Ewell doing my CBT, which is uh, compulsory bike training. And then this afternoon, I think I'm doing a little bit of big bike work where we go from um, the 125s onto like a bigger bike. That's going to be me soon. All right, we've been taken through the uh, 125 bits and pieces, all the stuff we need to know. And I want you guys to meet Stuart. How's it going, Stuart? Hi, yes. And bits you're... And pieces as well. <laughs> yeah, we're now going to get actually on the bikes. Yes. Which is going to be cool. The and the truth of the weight. Yes, hopefully no accidents. And also joining me today is Matthew. Hello. Who's also Mr. Brown. I am. I am. Very Although cool. not accomplished on a bike as, uh, as Ben here. No, so I have spent a couple of hours on a bike. <laughs> this is going to be fun. These are our noble steeds for now. That's Matthew doing very well. This is his first time riding a bike pretty much. Give him about three seconds head start and then you're going to follow. Uh, don't go too near the wooden stuff when you're turning. And if you, have to, if you have to miss out on the cones, don't worry about it. If you have to hit them, don't worry about it. Pretty lucky actually that the weather is nice today. It would be pretty rubbish if we were uh, doing this in the rain. But I feel like, because your direct access bike is like a five or six day thing, so it's probably gonna rain at some stage. This is so fun though. I haven't been actually on a motorbike for about six months plus, maybe longer. And uh, I've missed it so much, it's so much fun. Okay, I am finished with the little 125. Because I've ridden a bike quite a lot before, I'm gonna finish my CBT on the bigger bike, the 600, and then do my two hour ride this afternoon on my 600, so that I've kind of get an extra couple of hours that will stand me in good stead for uh, when I come to do my module one and two DAS, direct access scheme. But Matt's getting on really well, considering he's never really ridden a bike before. And this is a 600? 600. 600, yes. Okay, that's quite scary. <laughs> You'll find out the differences quite soon. Okay. Yeah, much more powerful, much heavier. Yeah. And more of a pleasure to ride. It's definitely a pleasure to look at. This is Robin. Hello. How are you? Very well, thanks. Ben. Good. You're showing me some extra little tips. Yeah, just showing the skill of uh, counterbalancing the bike. Yeah. It's a particular skill that you'd use at slower speeds, mm -hmm. allowing the bike to move underneath you. Mm -hmm. Counterbalancing is your body, there's the bike, so leaning the bike and counteracting the effect of gravity at slower speeds that want to take the bike in. Fantastic. So if you try that, yes. I think you'll find it a little easier than trying to keep the bike upright. Definitely. Uh, flex underneath you. How are you getting on? Just Shot my confidence, to be honest, today. No, man. You look good. Yeah, it's just, and I know, I know it was always going to be the first time you're on it. Yeah. Uh, you're not just going to get on it and, and be good, but yeah. I suppose same with with you is when you're hoping to do your testing. 
few weeks time suddenly realized yeah it's yeah, probably not an option <laughs> we'll see no you you'll be surprised and the, the first day is terrible and you just think this is impossible and i was actually a lot worse i was stalling left right and center compared to you you're picking it up a lot quicker than i did but and remember i've been on a bike for a while like i've done quite a lot of riding but you're doing good bro i doing think the good. one thing that's keeping me going is remembering when I learned to ski and I was absolutely rubbish. Yeah, and then I something goes give, like... Give up. Yeah. And then it clicked, like you said. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But you're doing well. Yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this bigger bike. It's quite scary, though. It's quite a nice bike. Actually. It's rad, yeah. Should we go and get a cup of tea, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a biscuit. I just think it's really... It's early days, you know. Okay, we've been doing diagrams, learning some tactics and what to do and what not to do. And now it's time to actually go out and ride. I'm excited about this. Okay, I didn't think far enough ahead to actually charge my GoPro or anything like that, so there won't be so much footage of me riding today, which is probably best that I just concentrate on the road. Here we go. Good luck, bro. What could um, possibly go wrong? I know. This is my Yamaha. Johannes the Yamaha. Make sure, off my, out in the road, guys, mm. your hands should generally be on the handlebar bits. Yeah and your feet should not be feathering the back brake all the time. It should be either out to the right of the back brake pad or behind it. We're doing some emergency stop practice and uh, I absolutely love this bike. It is so good compared to the little 250 that I have in um, Cape Town. I haven't ridden that for months and months and months, but this is so fun. So I passed. Yes, more than passed. Yay. Well done. Thanks. Did Matt pass though? Mm-hmm. I'll yeah, <laughs> and uh, soon you'll be at my standard. That um, no, was good, eh? That was cool. Much better on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, mm -hmm. I think, like I said to you, uh, because uh, because there's real stuff that could possibly kill you. Yeah. Right there. You're, you're concentrating on that as well, which means that the rest becomes just do it instead of. Da, 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 da. So nice. yeah, really enjoyable. Cool. Well That's my thank you. Cheers. Quick cup of tea before Dad picks me up. And Matt's jumped on the 600 because he's also doing the direct access. Just to give it a go. It's quite different to the 125. In a lot of ways, it's easier to ride. Woo! Got some pretty uh, awesome helmet hair going on. Very attractive look for me. <sighs> see you later, Matt. Yeah, it's good to meet you, bro. I'm sure I'll see you around. Keep up the good work. That's amazing. <laughs> How much better is this, though? Yeah. I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> Cheers, Robin. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. All right, Dad's come to get me. So now I gotta sit there. These are SPs. SPs. Uh, how are you doing, bro? Good, man. How was your, your thing today? So fun. Like, the most fun what? ever. Yeah. Wow, okay. Dude, you have to do it. You have to do it. What are you watching? Uh, a bit of sport. cricket. Yeah. Don't you just love having internet that you can stream sports? So nice. Yeah. So, you know, it would be even better. What? Having a TV channel where you could watch sports. Yeah, well, you have to pay a lot of money for that. Worth it. Tonight we're having chips and peas. And I'm about to wash up a little Instagram that Nicole took of me ages ago. Do you guys remember when we went to Betty's Bay and we did the Leopard's Clue hike? Well, that's the photo from there. Let's go give that a little like to call. Pick up that next level steak and eggs and chips. Also peas. SP, you've outdone yourself. Thank you. This is very colourful, I like it. I just did the steaks. Yeah, the steaks are the best bit though. 
Alfie, are you wearing socks? No. No. Are you wearing socks? Shame. Look at those. You want attention? I don't know what he's trying to say. SP, how's all the clothing stuff looking? <laughs> There's, uh, it looks like I'm going to be doing quite a bit of shipping. Yeah. Still have plenty of stickers. stickers oh, the stickers for days, yeah. In stock always for all the try. Yeah. Literally one Visual Vibes long tee left. I've got about 15 Visual Vibes sweatshirts for the men. Less than 20 on most of the things. Hectic. Yeah. If they're not. So yeah, this is them. basically, this we've is, got like a this, week left yeah. basically to buy stuff. Yeah. Less than a week. The shop will close. Yeah. Um, probably on the 7th just to be safe. Yeah. That no extra orders come in. Hectic. I've still got a hat here. I do apologize. Yeah, thank you so much to everybody who's buying the stuff. I can't believe how quickly it's all sold out. And for everybody asking, we are going to be restocking everything that was in the shop, plus loads of more cool stuff in August when we're back. So if you really want something, I'm sorry if we've sold out of your size of the thing that we that you wanted, um, but there is a few bits and pieces left. Um, and you've got a week, basically six days to go get it. Um, and then we're just going to stop. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm so excited to, well, for SP to ship these out to you. <laughs> no, I'll be around. I'll be around to help a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Good night, SP. Good night, bro. See you tomorrow. I'm going to say goodnight to you guys as well. I just want to show you something real quick. Adrian has worked his magic on some sound effects for the new Visual Vibes film. So it is basically finished. It's like 99% complete now. So I'm going to try and get that out in the next couple of days. I will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you guys. Goodbye. I'm ready to be in the UK for a bit, but... Yeah, it was dude, your Instagram is so nice. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, smashed it. I enjoyed it. I've still got loads to, to post. You print a video out? Yeah, yeah, a couple of videos. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to doing that. Sweet, man. I'm going to the US next week. I know, man. Yeah. That's exciting. It's very exciting. And then we're all in the US. Yeah. For VidCon. Exactly. I will see you then in the middle of the camera.